If you're new here, my name is Jamie and I post vlogs, lifestyle and finance videos here on my channel every Sunday. A lot of you wanted me to film this video, so I'm here running through what I love and don't love about Melbourne. For some context, I moved from Perth, Western Australia to Melbourne in 2015. So it's about seven years now and I have also lived in Boston and Jakarta. So I have those cities to compare to as well in terms of actually living in those cities and not just visiting. And before I get really stuck in the video, I know that there are going to be some people who wildly disagree, especially fellow Melburnians, but please, it's just personally what I love and don't love about Melbourne. Do not attack me, okay? So let's get into it. Something I do not love about Melbourne, but I just got used to it, and that is the weather. The weather changes so frequently in one day that I feel like I always have to dress in layers and bring an umbrella with me because anything can happen throughout the day. And I feel like I have such a lack of trust for the weather forecast that I'm just prepared for all the seasons whenever I go out. And it definitely took some getting used to. Now, the roads. I am not a huge fan of the roads. Even in the city and the suburban areas, it's, it's not great for me. I am a terrible driver already. And driving with trams and hook turns and curvy roads that literally go like this, it's, it's a lot for me. <laughs> Traffic can also be really bad and drivers can be really aggressive, but I feel like that's pretty common with a big city. Now, the next one, I don't think is going to be too controversial, but I think that you have to drive quite a bit to actually land at a nice beach. The beaches around Melbourne, like St. Kilda, are pretty average, especially when you're comparing to other Australian cities like Perth or Sydney. So if you're an avid beach goer, I think that is definitely something to consider. Now turning to what I love about the city, I love the diversity of Melbourne. It's such a multicultural place with people from all around the world. And I think that's a huge reason why the city feels so vibrant. Victoria has people from around 200 countries and almost 50% of Victorians were born overseas or have at least one parent who was born overseas. And yes, I did a little bit of research for this video. I think it's just so amazing to visit different suburbs where you can really feel different cultures and hear so many different languages spoken. It's just so rich in diversity and I feel like the city really celebrates that. So for example, we have so many different festivals going on like the Chinese New Year Festival, the Japanese Summer Festival, the Taste of Portugal events, the Irish festivals and so on. I think the diversity of the city also contributes to how progressive the city feels and I feel like people are generally more open-minded. The diversity of Melbourne is also very much reflected in the food and the restaurants that we have here. Whatever you are craving, whether it's from a place you visited while you were traveling or a place that you used to live in, you can find it in Melbourne and it will be delicious. Since we're talking about food, I cannot stress this enough. The food in Melbourne is freaking amazing. There's always new restaurants and cafes to try out. Seriously, you will never run out of delicious food in the city. Just get that Zomato list up and going and look at those 4.0 and above ratings and you are set. And you can have really high quality dining experiences. And the brunch, the brunch is amazing. I'm really passionate about it because I just love exploring new cafes and restaurants. It's basically 90% of my life. And of course it goes without saying, but the drinks and the coffee are so good. There's always new underground bars, rooftop bars, themed bars that are popping up everywhere in Melbourne. I've kind of touched on it, but I love how vibrant the city is. Ever since I first visited Melbourne, I just fell in love with the busy feeling of the city 
and I didn't feel overwhelmed rather I just felt so inspired and motivated by the energy that the city kind of consumes you in. I think Melbourne is such a thriving cultural hub with beautiful art galleries and exhibitions and theater shows and festivals and concerts. Big entertainers and exhibitions never skip Melbourne on their Australian tour. That was something that was so annoying to me when I lived in Perth. We would always get skipped, at least when I was living there. So for example, the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child play came to Melbourne. The F1 is in Melbourne. The Van Gogh Alive exhibition at the Loom was incredible. There's also a lot of free events around Melbourne that you can attend. Okay, this one, this one might be controversial, but I really think the public transport here is pretty great. And I know not all of it is amazing. I acknowledge that there are aspects that are not ideal and there's room for improvement. Like there's a lot of construction, there's delays, etc. But on a whole, I feel in my experience, the city is pretty connected through public transport and it's accessible. I have been living without a car. I can get around so easily by myself and go in all different directions and get to my destination with public transport. There's also express trains if you're commuting into the city. And I know it's not perfect, but I really do like the public transport here. Now, the final one is more about Victoria and the state itself, but I really love the road trip destinations that are around Melbourne. You really don't have to go very far to feel like you're wow. having a little break from the hustle and bustle of the city. So there are a lot of destinations that you can go for a day trip or a weekend getaway from the Grampians to Mornington Peninsula to the Yarra Valley to Wilson's Prong. And it's just really nice to sometimes take a break from the city and have a little bit of peace and quiet. That is a wrap on this video. I really didn't want to make it too long. If you want to see a video from me where I talk about how much it costs to live in Melbourne or anything else really, please just let me know in the comments below. I think you can tell from my vlogs how much I love this city. So I hope you found this useful or enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.